Hello and welcome. I'm Erin and we're playing some more of my second Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough uh, with no hats so we can see all of Arthur's micro expressions. It was also so trippy while I was like waiting for the countdown to finish because I can hear the game audio even though I don't have any audio channels on the starting soon screen because of this clock. So it's like perfectly synced to the second hand and it's like this is ominous, um, but yeah, this is a location in Saint Denis uh, that we haven't seen yet since we only just entered the city, so we will see this at some point. It was like making me more nervous than usual to start streaming. I was like, oh no, this is gonna make the Saint Denis parts. Uh, like whenever we save in Sandini anyway, it's gonna make it real spooky. I guess that works though, since we're just starting chapter four. Um, Jack has been kidnapped. Well, yeah, kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped and turned over to some ominous dude that we read about in the newspaper before. Okay. Let's go ahead and read Arthur's journal before starting. That's not right. Because I totally forgot until like more than halfway through last time. It's probably going to be a lot of text because we had a lot of big story missions at the end there. Oh yeah, the emerald. Okay. Wait, did we read this part? I think we did. Because that was about the... yeah. The horses that we got duped about. Speaking of horses, the one that's behind us is freaking out a little. <clears> hmm, <throat> okay. I have been recuperating after an interesting encounter with Colmo Driscoll. Dutch got it into his mind to meet the bastard to somehow end all this lunacy. Only Colm did not share Dutch's sense of honor amongst thieves. The whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then lure all the rest of us into a trap so that we could get arrested and Colm could disappear aw away. Almost that's anyway. Uh, us somehow carrying off his sin. Along with our own to the gallows. Uh, seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world even less than we are. More by luck than judgment, I escaped and somehow got back here, more dead than alive, and collapsed into bed after, uh, for a few feverish days. After much nursing from Miss Grimshaw and Miss Tilly, and much guilt-ridden apologies from Dutch over his stupidity, I survived okay. My shoulder where I was shot... Ain't come down with gangrene and I will live, uh, if even uglier than before. I wear a stop with the self-deprecating. Uh, thing is, uh, things, wait, <laughs> things is getting, uh, even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaite's, uh, have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spend too much time with the landed, landed gentry. Whatever else I is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the aristocracy. And Sean, poor boy. Sean has been killed. I'm more sad than I can admit. I love that little loudmouth wretch more than I knew. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. And now he's dead. His head was shot half off in an ambush. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Still no confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. And then R.I.P. Sean. Circled in the corner there. Oh my gosh. Every time. The autosave. Home for now. We've moved again. More trouble with Pinkertons, more trouble with them locals, more trouble all around. Little Jack's been kidnapped, so we're trying to find him. Apparently some fella in Saint Denis 
uh, Senor something or other, took umbrage to our presence and kidnapped him, or heaven forbid, worse. Uh, we burned down the Braithwaite Manor uh, when we went hunting for him, an almighty scrap. Uh, then we got spoken to again by Agent Milton. This time he asked us for Dutch's head on a platter. We got him to leave, but they ain't too pleased with us. Okay. Looks like that's where we left off here. Gift mappers. Oh, there's a lot of icons on the map now. Okay. Alrighty. Apple's poking it in the camera a little bit. She's just hanging out. Hello, I watched a bit of the last stream again to remember the order of things and sad slash angry at things all over again. Oh no. Yeah. Though it's definitely a intense chapter end. like oh I see they like cleared out the fog a little bit on just the map markers I was like I guess so you don't get lost I'm trying to go through the streets I was like I haven't gone into the city yet I don't think I made it at a point to not do that wait where am I on the map oh there I am hmm already got bounty posters up Okay, we can investigate for Angelo Bronte in these spots. Got a stranger mission that is automatically marked on our map, apparently. I'm not sure who that is, actually. Uh, oh, Albert, where'd you go? Must be not the time of day that he's active. Hmm, that would be sad if... It's a... It'll be impossible for his... Thing to disappear because you can do all his missions most of his missions throughout the whole game like including post credit stuff Hang on. okay so I think well maybe are these all the same oh they're different Gave us different little previews, but they're all for asking around. Um, yeah, alrighty. What if? Hey there. Hey there, hi. <laughs> Resisting the temptation to shove them into the water. Oh wait, where Arthur Hungy? You probably feed my horse too. Yeah. Okay, let's do that real quick. <laughs> I keep looking over and seeing Apple's little face just poking out in the corner of the screen. Oh wait, I fed her right. Yeah. Uh, then let's feed Arthur. Give him some fish. It's getting a night time. No wonder Albert isn't active right now. Oh, it's the theater. This one's Bonville. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> we won't go into the Bonville theater yet, but I think there's going to be at least two times where we're going to see what shows they have going on. Oh, maybe... Hmm. I might actually take Arthur to 
to leak so that our cutscenes aren't going to be in the dark where we can't really see much. Um, oh, that's like, oh man, but what if it triggers it? It's like right there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it's on a different street. Okay. I need to get there. Oh, I should have marked it on my map so I don't accidentally go the wrong way. Or I guess the right way. Oh no, it's not on a different street. It's just on the other side of the streetcar rail. Wait, is this the saloon saloon? No, this is the hotel. Okay. They both use the same icon. No, wait! <laughs> it's at the thing. Oh well. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. You're real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here in on. Teller just told me there's more more than this <laughs> That random conversation. Hello. I can't even say hi to anyone. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. It's funny to hear their random chatter for a bit. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Why, thank you. So, Mr. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. And the Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. It <laughs> makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know how to get. Kids oh, in the alley. Friend, huh? you, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. I think that's the wrong alert. Oh, it's daytime. That took a long time to question. So I, I actually really like how, like I don't know if this is something the way New Orleans or other places are set up, but I do think it's super cool that like the back alleys are like just like additional places to hang out and stuff. I don't think all the alleys are like that, but it's, it's cool when it is. Quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, this is something like wearing a wedding with? ring, turn that ring twice, and oh, then I think the it's next just... man you shake hands with will become <laughs> your husband. Hi there. 
Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, they're right there. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an <laughs> entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, you <laughs> little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. I'll kill you, even bastard. Steal a horse man's right here. You give that back. It's got my diary. Wait, no, just kick it. You all right back there, old man? Ah, damn it. He's only 36. by children. I'm telling you, a cucumber. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. I won't forget this sight. No. I like you. Stop. Shit. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. Kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. You new in town, Mister? Come on. 
Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with you. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Hang on. Wait, this guy. Okay. Go get yourself some to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. Wakey, wakey. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Oops, sorry, just wanted to check you were okay. Dirt. Ugh. Sweep him up worse. It's all right. Change my mind. I didn't even do anything. Hey, friend. Good morning, mister. Even have an eye doctor right there. I'm gonna check out this doctor shop they pointed out earlier. Hey, what is it? Dr. Theodore Scott, pharmacy. Wait, prescriptions <laughs> and family medicines carefully prepared. Open from 6 to 12. Whoa. Hello there. Welcome to Joseph Bombs. If you try the cocaine gum there, Take my advice. Start with only a little bit. Now, mm. let me have a look. I'm full up on everything. At least all the horse stuff. Probably sell some of it just so I can pick up more. Okay, I'll take a look. <laughs> what are you making those noises, sir? It's just selling you stuff. Thank you, madam. Hi there. Okay, back to saloon slash hotel. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no! Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to! Wait. Yes, yeah, send a knee. Better not have killed my horse. Am I gonna... Okay, she's good. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Poop around so she can get back up. Send a knee police just automatically start shooting no matter what I do. Get out of here. Puppy dog. 
bet we can't stop to see it. Jeez, just for bumping into the guy? Gee, the police here are nuts, yeah. There's also like random encounters you could have where yeah they also chase you out of the city too. Um good, random encounters where the like you'll find them in alleys like beating um their suspects and then just dragging them away unconscious and stuff and Arthur can call them out basically just on police brutality. It's sanity placer. Ooh. <laughs> too far off road because there are alligators in the swamps. Yep. It's not as friendly nature area as some of the other spots. Oh, there's a better map says there's a better route this way. It is a big city so you can come in from many different directions. Hey there. Hello. Hey there, mister. Hey! <laughs> that was a very intense hello. Uh, I didn't get the... I forgot there's going to be a lot more animals to observe in this hey area. Ooh, maybe we can... Oh yeah, while we're here, let's say hi to... I don't know if we can go in here yet, actually. We'll see if it lets us. Actually, <laughs> it doesn't want to hop the fence. That's fair, it's got the spikes on it. I don't wanna... What on earth are you doing? You mind your business, I'll mind mine. <laughs> don't judge me for hiding behind a fence. Algernon Wasp. Purveyor of the exquisite. Knock knock, anyone home? Not yet? Nah. <gasps> it's me! Despite everything, it's still you. No, he's not here. I guess we have to come back another time. I like Algernon. Even though... Um... I've never finished his quest line. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi there, mister. Ooh, look at that little one man buggy. The hotel up here too, but I can't stay in there. Wait. Oh no. I was thinking that was something else. Hey partner. Being in the city means there's so many people to say hi to. Oh. But they also keep crossing the street even as you're approaching and then get mad if you get too close. There's a whole park for the gallows. We get Arthur some big good. Hello there. <clears throat> Hello. Mister, how do you do, sir? Hello, sir. Hi there, ma'am. Oh, yeah, there's a barber here. He's got his own shop instead of being in the back of a saloon. But Hello, we Mr. just gave Arthur a big chop, so I think he's good for now. Perfect. 
furnished rooms. Okay, here we are. outside. Well, well. well, well. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello Ugh. there. That post-COVID cough is oof. Oh, is that him? Hang on. I don't want to get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, wait, I just want to double check my horse wasn't following me across the rails. Okay, we good. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Ah, good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know. Far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor. Hello. Morning, Pig. One cool thing about Sandinia is that they actually put a lot of effort into making it a very diverse location. Hello. Hello, madam. Good morning to you. Hello, gentlemen. Oh, the trapper. Do I have anything for him? Okay, let's take a look at it. Maybe I'll sell one of these because I'm almost filled up. I need to cook some of this stuff. Maybe I'll sell a gun sure. just so I can pick up the one that Sadie I think left for me. Man, I haven't been back at camp Good either. Morning, our Dutch has a thing. Come back, girl. Aww. It's gone, man. <laughs> so let me have a little happy moment with this horse. Um. Wait, what happened to that other stranger that was like over here? Okay, we got. Unknown stranger, an unknown stranger. Wait, does it say? Mercies of knowledge. The artist's way. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, I think I, this. Uh, I know. I know what both of these are. Uh, oh, there's Albert. Yeah. Okay. Think. Oh, who's this? Strauss. No. Mary Beth. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a lot of stuff going on over here. Okay, hang on. We have any collectibles in this area as well because maybe we can map out like hmm hmm <laughs> there's a few of them out uh near albert 
but I think I want to hold off on his thing for now. So I think maybe we're going to hang out in the city. But, um, it might be good to also pop in a camp for a sec just to, um, various camp interactions. Maybe, do we want to? We could probably pop into this one first, actually, and then go into camp. Oh no, girly girl, she got shot. Those police. Oh. There, girl. Hey, can I give her? I want to give her a treat. Give her some brushy brushes. Take it easy. Some pets too. Bonjour. Bonjour. Alright, so this one's the saloon saloon. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm coughing so don't much. Don't be cheap. A drink. Sure. What you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Arthur's beard grew <laughs> since the last time. It's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? <laughs> Mostly, I just shoot people. Mm -hmm. hair too. Oh, very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. How very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm. yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. For it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Huh? Well, where'd he go? Did he go out the back? I like how easily Morning, Arthur can just vibe with random people. He's just so curious about everything and everyone, despite what he okay, says about hating everybody. Wait, what's this? Help a brother out. 
Oh, I know what that one is. That one I'm gonna wait. That one's gonna take a little longer, I think. Okay, let's head back to camp for a bit. Just check in on everyone. See how they're settling in. So we pretty much just went straight here via cutscenes. Hey, Miss. Good morning. Good morning. Hi there, Mister. Here, there's packs of savages all covered in furs, hunting for scouts. Oh yeah, we also got. Mm, they don't seem to be going out for the five dollar bounty. Maybe we can leave it for now. Like there's gunsmith over there. Hello. Why are you there's stopping in the middle of the here. road? I was gonna go around you if you kept going. You can get along with lots of people, just not those kids. Kids are vicious. Uh, hey there, <laughs> I think Arthur knows Arthur, that sir. from. You know when you have one of those days. <laughs> oh, that actually has appropriate context this time. Mister? But I heard it, but I'm not 100% sure it's what I heard uh, when Arthur slips onto coconuts and then, like, one of the ladies around there starts laughing at him. You can hear him sniffle. Um, poor dude. Dude just had an awful day. Hang on, before we go back to camp, I want to do this one. <laughs> oh no, wait, no. Uh, okay, we gotta go back to camp because uh, I want to give him a, a little shave before we do that one so he can see his face a little better. Uh, <laughs> should lasso and hogtie that kid. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that'd be possible or if it just like automatically like veer off for story reasons. say hi to that guy but he was too busy talking to his horse. Yeah. Just like trying to see if there's any animals I can look at. to finish this random encounter. Right. I got killed. It's a out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can redeem myself. because I don't want to get eaten by gators. Oh no, I say that as I pass one that I didn't see.
Would you please get them out of here? Oh, I was I about to do that on my own. And I don't want to rot indoors. Maybe just. I go out the back door. Here we go. These guys can go feed the gators too. It. I don't want to fall in the water. It's a circle of life. Just one more. I got you. Don't you worry. I'm gonna loot their pockets first. <gasps> Is that a cigarette card I see? Man, I'm glad I could help her this playthrough. I felt so bad when, like, died and I tried to, like, rush back to the house, but the whole encounter disappeared the whole rest of the game. You okay? There's I mean, some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Nah. You don't have to give me money. I'll just take a cigarette card. She's gonna get mad if I take hey, this. Now you <laughs> I can't put my <laughs> That's all I'm gonna do. Oh, do I have to take the money? <laughs> you go ahead and sell their guns. Oh, Shouldn't have to have been in that situation. Fifty dollars? Don't have to give me all that. Can I find the guy again? Tell him it's cool to come back. Yep. Help her out. Hope the gators don't start expecting food from here regularly. True. <laughs> My bad. It's fine, they'll float away further. Plus, Shady Bell is a ways off still. So, at least for this location, it's still. Oh, that's a little one. Oh no, the snapping turtle! Oh my goodness. Oh, it was parentheses small. I'm gonna look at that too. Why is my camera shaking? Am I okay? Hang on. Oop, wrong button. Stats aren't that bad. Arthur, are you okay? Camera's like wiggling. Maybe it was because of the snapping turtle and alligator. Um, where is she? Are there any? No, no flowers. I do have the bow. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah. Bring this back for the gang. Let them have some fresh food that isn't just Pearson stew as we settle into this yeah. new camp and have a stressful situation of Charles, Lenny, and Tilly having to be in the south, like the south-south, and 
Abigail and John having their son be kidnapped, and Karen having lost her partner, boyfriend, slash, I don't know if they're officially together. Man coming in. Welcome back. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. No reason. Just making sure. Sure. Oh, we need medical easy, supplies. Easy. I'll, I'll just buy some for that. I see Taima. That means Charles is here. Somewhere. Giving me the option to skin this turkey in camp. I feel like that would make a bit of a miss. I just want to say something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Jack. Now, I saw some of those Get that colors. Pearson spot. I, I had no idea. I thought it was a business matter. I know Arthur and Hosea had had dealings with him. Good. We really need a boy. I feel like a fool. I would gladly give my life for his. Not that it matters if that it works that way. But I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that. This place. Just try to stay calm. I am calm. It's gonna work out. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Uh-huh. Okay, where's Karen? Hey. <gasps> it's him. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. I thought, he's, I thought he's already given me fire arrows before. Anyway, I won't start. Oh, I see the give request option. Well, I think that's because I had moonshine. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Sorry, can't seem to try. <laughs> I did not even try to move. <laughs> Whoa. Karen go. I'm worried about her. At least they had a Javier. Javier? You wanna sit, Arthur? Everything good? I guess. I hope so. Alright, Arthur. Oh, there she is. Hi, Karen. Oh, hi. <laughs> well, that's all I can say for her right now. Hey. Hey, Arthur. Everything okay? Always. Just checking. Okay, You Arthur. know, it was actually a camp interaction that spoiled what happened to Sean. Um, which chapter were we in? Either in two or three, where Lenny was talking to someone, um, and he had been teaching Sean how to read, and he, they were talking about what a shame it was that they lost him and stuff, and I was like, I'm not gonna comment on this camp conversation. Here. Hello. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Ah. Well, good. Just keep your head down. Uh-huh. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah, better be nothing. I, I love it when you talk to me so tough and manly. 
And you know, you make me feel like a little Mexican peasant who's gotta be scared of the big American soldier. Now you wanna start something, buddy? Why are you always so angry, Bill? You shut up. Shut up. Arthur, why is he always so angry? Do you got any clue? He's every right to be angry. He's been dealt a bad hand. I'd be angry too. You carry on, Bill. Thanks, Arthur. All right, I give up. Hey, Javier. Arthur. Hello, sirs. Hello. Don't work too hard. I work smart. Think you can make this place work? I can make any place work. Just worried about the boy. Yeah. Me too. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. The cash box is upstairs. Forgot. Got spoilers like that when you played Baldur's Gate 3 characters commenting about things that hadn't happened in your playthrough yet. Oh no! <laughs> the betrayal of the programming. cleaned up this place like you can't really fix up uh, an abandoned rundown house but at least it's clear okay let's go upstairs oh uh, we'll look at it when we come back down Abigail. He's gonna be okay. Nobody would harm a child. It'll be okay, I promise. It'll be okay. It's going to be okay. I must save him, Abigail. We're gonna find him, Cam. You better. I swear. We're gonna get him back. Stop saying that, all of you. I promise. Well, I should get back to it. I guess. That's the gun oil that she got me, I think. Yoink. Arthur's got his own bedroom. I will not fast travel. Where is... Where's this shaving kit? Oh, here it is. Alrighty. Trim that. See his handsome face. outfits. Miracle tonic. Wait. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> He's getting ready to open the door. Um, cash box is back here. Molly. Hi, Arthur. My lady. Yeah. What How happened? I can hear him. Where is he? <laughs> we got the window. <gasps> there he is. Okay. Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry. Hope you weren't drinking that. Just got so excited about seeing Charles. Um, Ledger. 
Yeah, I don't know why it kicked me out of the book. You okay? Uh, so so. Bad times, all right. <laughs> Game was like, actually, you can't buy stuff. Our medicine is super stocked up. Oh wait, actually, I want to contribute some. Maybe. Or maybe. Yeah, I'll do it at least. Keep them from yelling at me. Just a little bit. <laughs> Arthur's not allowed to go back in the closet. There are still some... Oh, Dutch and Molly get this whole room to themselves? Dang. Um, there are some um, um, stranger missions that we haven't seen yet. I wonder if they activate during this chapter. I have to circle back to some of the... Um, other cities just to see if anything pops up. Okay, is anyone else? Um, open for chatting. I hear you've been drinking and taking Stop messing with them. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sneaks up on me. You've been making all kinds of new friends again, Mr. Bill, with your overpowering charms. <laughs> there ain't no soul, Reverend. Not in any of us. It's a fairy story. Perhaps. What do you believe? I believe there's winners and losers and nothing else besides. Which one do you think you are? Compared to you? I'm the greatest man that ever lived. Whatever creature you worship, Mr. Bell, pray to it for humility. Good day. Whoa. <laughs> antagonize, antagonize, antagonize. Ooh. No, only greet. He's still here. <laughs> Look who it is. Reverend Swanson! Can't talk to him. <laughs> Wanted to throw Micah's stupid hat in the fire. How are you? That would be fun. If it won't let me throw random animal carcasses on him, could at least let me do that. Jose? What's the latest on Jack? <sighs> Still working on it. Alright, well, I should be getting on. Okay. Can't talk to Mary Beth right now. She has a mission. Gentlemen, what you up to? Nothing much. <gasps> Kane. Hello, boy. <laughs> hey, boy. Come on, boy. Yo, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. <laughs> you regretting falling in with us yet? Didn't figure we'd be on the run like this. I've been on the run for a long time before this. Oh, hi, Uncle. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. It ain't Mr. Trillo. Arthur? Looking smart as always. One must have standards, dear boy. Perfect attire for the great outdoors. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, you ever eaten donkey, Jose? No, me neither. Uh, strange man. Hello. 
gonna be okay. We'll find him. We'll go find him then. Yeah, she doesn't want platitudes. There he is. Hello. I think the stew is ready at six. So I'm just gonna have him hang out for a little longer. I can't see the time and weather with the bounty. There it is. What was that rumble? I guess I could do. How are you? In a lot of pain. What is this? Keeps rumbling, but there's yeah. something to interact with. I don't know the feeling. Oh, Karen. Oh, the river is here. Doing some chores, doing some chores. Looking at horses while I'm doing my chores. Don't get eaten, Arthur. Pearson's going fishing. Oh, there's three basins I'm gonna need to fill. Oh, they're all in the back. Hi, Hosea. What bird is that? Arthur, you missed! Okay, I guess we only have to do one trip. Ooh, dinner's ready. Yeah. Trying to see Kane. I don't see him. I guess I'll eat with uncle then. Can I sit? I'm not allowed to sit. Fine, I'll just hover over him while I eat. Slurp my stew in his ear. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, there he is! <laughs> right after I finish. Hi, Charles. Hi. Hi. Arthur just completely missed with emptying out the bucket of water. And he just like puts the bucket down hoping nobody would notice. It's like... Wait, whose horse is that? It's not even a trying his best scenario. It's just he messed up and he's gotta cover up the evidence. Gideon, Gideon, Gideon? I'm guessing Gideon. Who says that? I'm gonna pet them. Brown leopard. Ooh, never studied Balak. Whoa, those eyes! So bright blue. Hello, random horse that doesn't seem to belong to anyone. You okay? Where's Taima? I think she was over there. I'm gonna say hi to horses that aren't mine. I gotta say hi to Taima. Oh, there you are, girl. You'll be all right. Oh, look at her. Do you remember when we played Nancy Drew and we needed a bucket of water for something? That's a good girl. Mm Vaguely, <laughs> I can't remember exactly. I don't know how to 
I, you didn't know how to use it and I accidentally tossed it out. Oh no. It's been so long, my memory is so fuzzy on playing that one. But I feel like that's something that we would do. <laughs> oh, Driscoll boy. Mister. At least the horses like you. I know. Might be of some use after all. So happy that the horses like them. Okay. Oh my gosh, I want to get rid of Bampy just so I can see the time and everything right away. Um, <laughs> just stop at the bridge. William. Hey Arthur, I left those arrows by your tent. Appreciate I don't have a tent. Where did you put them, Charles? Charles. <laughs> Oh wait. Sure. It's a chance to make fun of them. So your first name comes from your surname? Ain't that odd. Other. Guess I never put too much thought in it before. What's your real first name then? Marion. Marion? My oh my. What a nasty mom and daddy you must have had. Well, they must have hated you before they even met you. <sighs> Explains a lot. It's a family name, actually. Well, that don't surprise me. But I can see why you stick with Bill, Marion. I know. <sighs> don't worry. Your secret's safe with me, Marion. Hey there, Marion. Shut up. Sorry, ma'am. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. Have a nice evening. You okay? I don't have a tent. Where did you put the arrows? You okay. Arthur. I don't want to antagonize Charles. Up, that strong. would just give me a game Not over no screen. <laughs> Breaking my heart. Got some work ahead. Okay, then. Oh, what? So. Tell us again. Sure. So I got caught doing. We were both like Nancy. Why? When she dumped the water. 17. 18, long before I met Dutch. I was newly an orphan. Anyway, I got caught by some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was, and he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but, uh... Someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. Well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Looking good? Thank you. Good to see. Sure, Arthur. Hey, Uncle. Hello. <laughs> you know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. Evening. Hi there. Keep working hard like you have been. Of course. You'll go a long way. Sure. Okay, catch y'all later then. I'm thinking it is Arthur's bedtime and then we can go on break and um, go back to the city and do some more missions. Oh, Charles actually left the arrows. I think that's what that dot is for. Yeah, they gave me that um, prompt 
to give them stuff for fire arrows twice, I think. <laughs> just, the front door is just swinging like, oh, um, kitchen doors is funny. Oh, yeah. Got Javier's bounty poster, I guess. The wanted poster. Thousand. Okay, it says it's for dollars, but this looks like it's from Mexico. So I guess they're also enlisting American bounty hunters. Who's that? I thought John was out and about. I guess it could have been Dutch or Abigail. I'm not Dutch, Molly. In Dutch's room. Oh, Abigail. Okay, let's get to get to sleeping so that we can look for Jack some more. I say as if I'm not gonna do some more of the stranger missions. But yeah, okay. Put Arthur to sleep. Get him a whole 10 hours. I'm sure that will help alleviate Abigail's anxiety to have him sleep in. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, okay. Gonna take our little break and see y'all in a bit. Hello and welcome back. Hang on, I'm, <laughs> it's gotten darker so I need to adjust my lights a little. Uh, is that working? Okay, I think that's fine. Okay. Accidentally bumped my mug a little bit. Or. Can I just jump out of the balcony? Oh wait. I can't leave Charles's gift. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Thanks, boo. Wait, can I jump out of this window? That's even more fun. Is there anybody I can jump on? Give them a little morning surprise. Maybe around the balcony? Yep. Yep. Karen! <laughs> she doesn't care. Morning. He does this all the time, apparently. <laughs> You look well. Thank you, Arthur. This air must be doing you good. Okay, then. Oh, do I have to talk to Strauss to activate those other debts? I guess I may as well. We're heading out. Where is this? Is he over here? Man, there's a lot of buildings on this property. Oh, yeah, there he is. Mr. Morgan. That's me. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. Dutch tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan. Will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. But for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Morning. Morning, Mr. Morgan. I said hello? I thought I said hello. Oh, boy. Okay. 
Catfish Jackson. Ah, oh, it's too early for those other encounters. No. Well, I guess by the time I get there, it'll be time. Or I can do a bounty. I'll start heading towards the bounty and then see if any of the other stuff is active. Or maybe that one in the park might be active. I don't know. So I think that one is just not marked on a map until you get there. A new herb. What is it? Oleander Sage. Can I give this to Charles? Does this count as so Oleander? I'm gonna give him all the flowers. What if I- oh I can't give it to him. Can I just give him like a bouquet of Oleander? Because I think that would be cute. Hi Charles, will you make poison arrows with me? Orchid. Can't wait for Arthur to draw all these flowers. Javier, don't get eaten by alligators, okay? Stay alert there, Javier. Morning, Arthur. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Anyway, you know what to do. Okay. Oh, I just realized that the Braithwaite Manor just rubble now. Oh, that's a good point. I could probably check that out and see. I think we're going to be in that area for that debt collection. What's that locked open? Did I have something for someone sleeping? Morning, Arthur. Hi, Charles. I heard a literal honk shoe. Hey Charles, can I give you the stuff? Can I give you a bouquet? Good morning, Arthur. Hey. You still glad you joined up with us? Of course. Well, we're glad to have you. Sounds good. Bye, Charles. I love you. Okay. What is that locked icon? Was that just for Charles because he was busy at that moment? Yeah, I don't see anything else. So I guess it was for him. Wait, what was that? Swanson's Bible. I don't think we've gotten to look at this before. Does he have anything special written in it? Oh. Man. Swanson and his addiction is just such a sad little subplot. Lenny. Morning. It's either reading or robbing with you, ain't it? A fella can do both. I was gonna say, he's got two hands. Anyway, don't let me disturb you. Sure, Arthur. That actually reminds me of that. Uh, Lenny and Sean is a fairly popular ship because of, I think because of the, like you can see the way that Lenny wants to impress them and stuff. Um, they get along really so well. what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, well, let's talk more later. And they also apparently do stuff like go on pee breaks together. A new day oh. awaits. Morning to you. How did we end up over this way? Huh? Well, I guess we know the answer to that. All right, Arthur. Hi, Charles. I can't talk to you anymore, but I'll send you good vibes. Um, and then I think I haven't even brought it up yet during the stream, I don't think, but um, John and Javier is also a pretty popular ship. 
I think mainly because of something in the first game, but there is stuff in this one also that kind of reinforces it. Like, um, in chapter one when, um, John is missing and Javier, besides Come Abigail, on, is the one that's like, really wants to go find him. Stuff like that. And also they just hang out a lot and stuff. You guys stop, jeez. Y'all are the ones that stopped. Don't blame me. That's the problem I have with the San Denis pedestrians. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. So I think they more often yep. than. Uh oh. Right there, not... okay. these guys. Whoopsie. <laughs> what a rescue. <laughs> I think these are the Wind Raiders. Sorry about your friend. <laughs> Arthur, do a flip! Alligators here. Oh no, wait. No, 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 don't leave that guy. You'll get bad points. <laughs> well, it's fine. What did I get out of it? At least. It didn't even show me anything. All it gave me was dishonor on my house, dishonor on my family, dishonor on my horse. Can I sell this one? I just noticed I think it's tobacco, I'm not sure. The stables, I think, I'm trying to remember, I think they're on the southwest side of San Denis. Yeah. Definitely on the west side, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Definitely Boy. pretty sure. Hang on, the bridge is right here, so let me check and make sure it's not outside of town. Okay. Oh, I should go ahead and also pay off my bounty. That's on the south side also. I already looked at the crows. Whoa! Don't get distracted while you're driving! Which is apparently a huge thing that happens during the eclipse is that uh, motor collisions go up. Motor vehicle collisions. So people get distracted. Here, let's go ahead. Yep. Do you have a I can do Do you have horses for sale? Ooh, that one was cool. The all black one. about it. No little missy. It's not my fault that's where the 
they will spit me out. Hey. Hi there, mister. Okay. Post office is along the south. Oh, who's this? Who's this? A bright bouncing boy. Which one is that? I don't remember. I want to go find out. You got a problem with me? No, I'm just walking. I'm walking here. I can't do that. I can't do any accent. Oh, this is this is the this is the one that I wanted. I didn't. Wait, it is, isn't it? No, this is a different part. No, it is this part. <laughs> that emotional journey. I'm very excited for this one. Oh my god, that's one of my favorite Arthur lines. Uh oh. Uh oh. Why do I waste my time? Why? Oh. You all right, Mister? You okay, bud? <laughs> Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind? European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betray. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration <laughs> of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. Ways I cannot see. Still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> oh, <shante. laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration <laughs> of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe <laughs> I can make you immortal. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. <gasps> and this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a student. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? <laughs> so, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control you. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. <laughs> any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this. Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets oh, no. attached. Make them miss the explosion if they touch the bot. Wait, how do okay. I... If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands there. of certified oh. genius! Oh, and I have geez. certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Ah! No! No! To see what it does? No wire like telegraph. 
No holy system under I've never hit the mines oh, before. <laughs> in the air. This is remarkable. Look at those poor boys on the HL hunt. Yeah. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Husatan. What a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. I say look out for mines. I only hit one. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh no, it didn't hit it. Go, get away from me. Carefully. Recognize this guy from the video compilation I sent you forever ago. Well, another one of my Himbo Arthur compilations. Not mine, but one that I enjoy. Oh god, free. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is Oh, it's really all beat up. <laughs> this is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still oh. avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here uh... for this smart talk. Look out! Look out! The steam train. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in motor comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from <laughs> <laughs> Where did that mine come from? Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Full proof. Undeniably foolproof, but also, you are not fools, and unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficult. Oh, look at no boy hanging out over there. And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. But what is not not difficult is the secret of well, life. Arthur has some the fun with the toy. Transmigration. <laughs> yeah, it's just so cute. Not cute, but funny in the way Arthur gets so offended with being called a buffoon in this scene. Yeah, I'm like, listen up? There we go. As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Just well, watch Arthur in the background. This is expensive. It is immortality, sir. <laughs> it, is, it is very cheap. Perhaps No one so saw much. that. Maybe. I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. Then I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my... Can't talk to her. And, and this is for military purposes. No. It is you can't for sit humanity here. itself. Uh, you see, uh, you see, I have now illustrated just a small sliver of the miracles I can enact on this earth. If you will help me and not stab me in the ass like the other Americans. Traitors! of you goddamn traitor none of you has the wisdom to invest in my genius genius 
You're fools. All of you. Fools. Oh. Oh. Anything else I can help you with? No, no, you've done quite enough. Now you can leave me alone. Okay, I'll stop by your house at some point. The line that I really enjoy is just about, oh, it's a toy boat! <laughs> I just love them. Oh, Charles Chatney is up the salt again. What's this one? Come on. Come on. Oh, this one's a secret. I don't remember which one this is. I wonder if Ajnan is home yet. I think that one might be triggered by dealing a tip about his shop or something. Whoop! Oh, Gavin's friend. He's here from Rhodes. Where is he? Gavin's friend. You. Hello, mister. Please, tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he <laughs> looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> nope, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. Oh, he's the best. Gavin! Well, that's it oh, for now. <laughs> I am so worried. Good luck, dude. Gav. Gav. This isn't Gavin, this is my horse. Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Why do you keep following me? Okay. Still got the BAM teas I can do. Hey, you can hear the vaudeville show's music. She's up here. Ooh, got caught on something. Where is she? Another suffragette. So you get along okay. You're walking away from history, you fools! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Hello. Hello, ma'am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. Someone actually called him young for once. Everyone else always calls him old. But again, uh, a dude Monsieur. raised by anarchists. Hey. Things voting and government stupid. <laughs> it wasn't anywhere near you, dude. Hey, brother. Hello. Trumpet player. How do you do? I think he was in the other part. There's a. Where's my horse seat? Hey, 
Let's go, bro. <laughs> oh, that guy just got a chamber pot dumped on him. Covered in worse, friend. Just had to be me. Can't talk to the lady. Lady, gotta look where you're dumping your stuff. Nah. She has no comment. Yeah. For a minute of your time? Yes, you can. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Sure. Less than a minute, <laughs> I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of twenty dollars would put us well on our way. I can do twenty dollars. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Don't loot that lockbox. Don't do it, Arthur. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. Looks fancy. Okay. Got Charles Chatney over here. Oh, and there's a tailor shop on the way. Maybe we can go Hello. see if there's. How are you today? Oh, uh, that's the same lady. Cool. Say hello to. Eh, I'm not gonna go to the tailor shop right now. Hey, Mister. Mister. in the back alley. Come on, the hell's the matter with you? Sorry. Why won't you just leave me <laughs> Sorry, dude. Howdy. How do I get back Hello. there? Can I jump the fence? Oh, that's not a fence of the door. <laughs> you tired? We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife. You're a dead man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did that because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. I am I an artist cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come see what I mean. Also, that reminds me, I ended up deciding what I think I'm going to do is um, basically save Albert's last mission for the post game, basically. Uh, but I think what I'm, I'll like do his mission, like save and then do his mission, then reload and then do it to where it's canon uh, in the post game. Um, because he actually, his, if you do his mission, like do all of his, all five of his quests before going to Charles Chatenay's gallery show, there's like a small intersection 
a little bit of bonus content um, with that. What's happening over here? It's only temporary. Who's talking? It's only sorted out soon, I promise. Nice. Oh, there. I can't believe this is happening. The whole saloon's overrun with rats. I'm losing business left this and right. This isn't a fantasy game. I need to get someone to get rid of them from me. <laughs> Killing rats in the cellar. Well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Oh, get the rats. Here to squeak them. Sorry, little rats. Whoa, that one just fell off. Oh, I missed. Missed. Just use my knife. Did that not hit? There's still only two on the map. I am gonna take these, though. Waste not, want not. I think I can also melee them. Ugh. See, if I actually hung out with Arthur in real life, it would be one of those situations of um, getting him to get spiders for me. with the dead eye. These are very dexterous rats. Hold on, I'm still alive. Where'd it go? Imagine a saloon now, imagine a cowboy now, imagine a rat now, imagine a rat now, imagine a rat. <laughs> Oh man, seeing the tacked on bullet hole on the rat. Ugh. I hear the squeakums. I was hanging out on the window. Would it be weird if I just ate the almonds? Can't harvest all of the animals' parts. I ran out of space. Come up. There we go. Wanted to reload. There we go. Oops. Put those away. Thanks, mister. Take this. Ooh, you earned every cent. I killed worse. Now I got a bag full of rats. What's this? Oh, no. Wait, what's this one? Help a brother out. Mm. Yeah, I think we can start that one. I really like the stuff that this quest <laughs> that this quest um, leads to. I picked them up for you. It's not that dirty. Just some blood and bullet holes. Um, I also forgot that. Um, I think it was between. I wasn't anywhere near I'm you. Sorry, um, puppy. Hello. I don't see puppy. Um, uh, bu 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 
I guess at the end of chapter three, because I can't remember if it was between or just after Sean or what, um, with the stag that we saw, that was kind of like dreamlike stag, uh, that denotes that Arthur is on the high honor path, because if he's on the low honor path, then he sees coyotes. Ooh, a new kind of dog. A mutt. Come here, boy. You okay, boy? No. There we go. Good boy. Bag full of rats is very fallen London coated. I could definitely see that being a thing. Oh no, puppy dog, don't get hit by the trolley! Okay, it's fine. It'd be like one of those sad dog movies. I wasn't anywhere near you! Leave me alone! Okay, where was I going? I didn't even mark it on my map. I am not going the right way. Where's my horsey horse? <laughs> Smashing the whistle button. Oh, he's not gonna whistle anymore because I pressed it too many times. Hey there, girl. Well, we're back at the doctor's office. Hey, mister. Hello there. How are you, ma'am? Oh yeah. Sup, dude. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? Sure. I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. <laughs> you have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Donate. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like saint -Denis is acting as a staging post shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I like how the dude is like, I got you. Hello there. Um, he's just like, uh, I can tell you're a kind man. Arthur's like, nah, I'm bad man. And he just keeps hanging out and talking to him anyway. Hello, madam. Hello. Thank you for your help. Me, uh, me, don't go down the rabbit hole of the Red Dead and Fallen London crossover. But it also takes place in the same time period. I am. Mister? Howdy. Partner? Hey, partner. Hello. Green door. Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Chop. Chop. Shall do. Looking for anything in particular? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? 
Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. Well, I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please. They, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir. I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just pull the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, I forgot to pay off my bounty. I just remembered. Why do I hear stippy steps? Oh. Hello? Gadgety, gadgety. He left. Should beat him up. Hey, hey, hey. I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres. ¿Qué es lo que importa? Tenemos que confiar en él. Cool hat. Chicken. Hello. A cat will be back for you later. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's. Well. They are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this? Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Oh, they vanish. He's also a magician. Keep reacting at this one because it's, it's uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Is that a puppy or is it a piggy? The piggy. Look at it go. Oh, it's getting dork. So many strangers. Oh, I forgot to go back to see if I did a cat. I'm sorry. Oh, 
Excuse me, but Yeah. Even. Even if the What is it? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? <laughs> yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. For good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, he'll be that stagecoach guy, Rose. Alden? Okay. Gonna take Arthur to the hotel. Wait. What is that icon? You! Oh, sorry. Move yourself. Hey, mister. Oh, wait. Puppy dog. Come here. Hey, oh. Mangy dog. Let me pet you. Mangy bloodhound. Oh, you poor baby. Oh. What is this? Brother Dorkin's already. I'm not gonna do that because it's dark. I can't see. Um, hotel. Oh, I can get his picture taken too. There's a photographer right there. Oh no, that's the encounter. Um, stranger mission. Come back for that later. Someone get them beat them back there? Well, see, you boys need to learn some respect. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I just wanted to follow through. Oh man. I wasn't even the one that threw the first punch. <laughs> oh no. Oh jeez. Why just me? They really do just start shooting here. All hair, cream, and elbow. <laughs> you better leave me alone! Jesus Christ! No, don't push in. No pushing. Ooh, can I go up? Oh my gosh, Arthur, don't get stuck. Can I get them to not see me from up here? Oh no, they're coming up too. Oh no, no they're not. We're playing Assassin's Creed now. Can a guy just beat up a couple other guys anymore? Stay low, Arthur. Is this, is, 
Because I'm still in a red area, so it's not counting as being hidden. Oh, while he's up here, I'll have him have a snack. A little snack. Not a cigar. Have some oregano game. Okay, circle is smallening. <laughs> Maybe I can just scoot out here. Hope that they don't see me. I don't believe it! Oh my! It's getting too close to the road over there. It's gonna be too visible if I go on the other side. Maybe from this roof. Oh, there's a cop over there. Okay. Let me just get out on the other side of the circle. Maybe if I go into the alley. I'm still in the circle. Man, there's a cop coming around that corner. Shoot! <laughs> Who saw me? Oh, I'll be damned. Oh, yeah, I need a snake. Okay, now it's starting to go away. Let's hang out over here for a sec. What is that red marker that's not the law? Usually that just shows up for aggressive animals. Mister Elma. What do you think? It's the world's against me. A couple of nights ago I found a found a van and baby over there on Victory Street. This what damn happened? place. And still just five dollars. So they didn't see my face, I guess. Whoopsie, sorry. I was just trying to say hi to folks, but it's not letting me lock on to anyone. Who's playing the fiddle? I can't talk to anybody, what happened? No, I can't compliment her music playing. Well, if it has me wanted, it's not gonna let me use anything. Let's go over to the post office, pay this off. It's still showing the red danger mark on the map, so I think they might actually still be looking for me. Hey, how are you? Oh yeah, I can't talk to anyone. Give me some space here. I'm trying to hide from cops. Okay, girl. <laughs> I can't even diffuse. I'm about to get run out of town again. Oh, they didn't see me. Uh oh. oh there it is. <laughs> no, you don't. Well, this just gives me an extra reason to head over to Rhodes. <laughs> Say hi to Alden. Pay off my family. Trying to hide from cops. I think that's why he doesn't want you there. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I 
I'm not trying to get away. I, I am getting away. Heading towards Albert. Gonna bring the cops right to him. Pigs are all right. It's still just five dollars, so they still don't know who I am. Um, Albert's probably sleeping right now. Rhodes is over here. Ooh, wait. No, I don't think that's gonna be for who I'm hoping for. But there is a quest line that I'm hoping to start in Rhodes at some point. I hope it's active now. Because I would really like that. <laughs> Albert, these aren't the kind of pigs I want to photograph. <laughs> we both made pig jokes. <laughs> same hat, same hat. Oh man, it's 4 a.m. Okay. Let's see if we can get Arthur to make camp since we couldn't get him a hotel. I wanted to give him a bath, but I guess I'll have to do that in Rhodes also. Need to cook. Jesse, we need to cook. Arthur, you look so sweaty. It's almost like you've been running away from the cops all day. It's also in a really humid area. And I miss when I was working a con in convention <laughs> in um, Arizona. Because it's so dry there, I wasn't sweating nearly as much as in Texas where it's super humid. Another. I like the little owl engraving on his knife. Which is why I picked it, but still. <laughs> I forgot I have, um, shoot, the, uh, what's it called? The herbs and stuff. Oh, it's already morning, Arthur. You've been cooking through the night. Oh, I don't have any herbs. I just have, no, I don't. I have some time. Let's go ahead and do some of that. I think I only have one. Yeah, I cannot handle humidity. I'm so used to dry air. It's awful. It's like as soon as I step out of the house and just already sweating. And it was even when I went to do my photo shoot for my Red Dead cosplay that I'm still not naming because I didn't use a wig so I just used my natural hair. But so I styled it to be a certain way is like pretty much by the time I got to the photo shoot location my hair was like halfway back to the normal humid fluffiness it's like uh oh well it's fine let's 
seven of them. I'll do one. We gotta get Arthur to sleep. Have me eat this one for breakfast. And now let's have him take a nap. Till noon. Seven hour nap. Who's yelling? Up now. I didn't see anything on my map, so I guess it was just the wind. got any other stagecoach missions for me also. <laughs> I want to look at the birds. I already looked at the herons. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> and I have so many gator drawings. Get on. Oh, you kind, mister. I got you, girl. All right. If he be uh, so kind to take me to LeGras, that's oh, where yeah. I'm from. That's where my people is from. Thanks. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, mister. Just don't trust him much. That's all fair. All right, ma'am. I don't trust him much either. You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life I've been. Horse don't help much in LeGras, no. Me the horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. <laughs> Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came oh. and ripped his leg off. Oh no. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Oh. The horse fell and died for a part time and could come by with a rifle on him. I just no word of lie. Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? The grass? Well, that's not like this. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you. Bet it was a long time. No offense. But I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. Yep. Okay, here's good. Thank you, mister. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. Good luck with the wildlife, miss. You be well. I ain't gonna forget what you did for me, no. I don't think I had that encounter in my first playthrough. I'm just like, oof. With the whole can't put down roots and keep moving around thing. Especially if you think about the way he was engaged to Mary for a while and then he ended up choosing the gang over her.
some other stuff too. But that'll get explored more. Well, I like this lady to ask for help and proceeded to put Arthur on blast. And <laughs> she tells it like she sees it. She sees right through him. Red of, <laughs> Red of her filth in two seconds. Yep. Perceptive lady. Yeah. It's also funny how Arthur is just like, well, what if I don't want to settle? And then he just stops talking the whole rest of the conversation. that bird. Alden! Alden, I need you! No, he's just gonna ignore me. He's got another mission to do. Alden! Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Mm-hmm. I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Only one X. Bridge in Blue Water Marsh, north of San Denis. Look for a wagon coming south. Should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. Thanks. Thanks, Alden. If you're waiting for Gentlemen. the train, Hello. should be here soon. That's where it's lost. Well, to start, you drag you. Who is this bounty for? Mark Johnson. I think I know who that one is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it. If the moonshine one isn't timed, is it? Oh, yay! Okay. I'm excited for that one. Oh, that's way up there. Yeah, that one's that guy. Charles Chatney, then who's this? Are they Dorkins? Man, there's a lot of stuff. I guess because we started a new chapter, so it makes sense. And then we also want to visit the other cities again in case there's more stuff. Work. Thinking of going after them, are you? Wager you're more than up to it. I happen to know that fella is farming the swamp. Or How trying to. Up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here oh. and I never had an inkling. Ah, hello. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't have anything for you right now. Okay, I think I got 
I think the bounties are timed, so I think I gotta do that one, and then I'll come back to this one in the roads, hopefully. Should have time for it. Hello there. This area I can cut through because there are no gators and no steep cliffs. But there are rivers and lakes, so we'll see if I end up getting cut off around this area. Oops. I just wanted to look at the cows. Can't do it, Daddy. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Talk to Mama, boy. <gasps> Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. I'm gonna fight you in front of my family, okay? You gonna take me, or what? This is bullcrap! Don't look away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. This is uh, very kind of you. Beats. I don't want to take his hat. Hang on. <laughs> Arthur, gonna mess up my playthrough. Okay, I think I can take it off on his horse. <laughs> Someone saw him to put on his hat <laughs> while taking him away. Oh no, there's no no hat option. I think I can get off by... There we go. Okay. Ooh, I'm 
like your horse. Hey there, mister. The laws of man ain't as forgiven as the laws of nature. Reckon your cargo there's about to find that out. I have something to say. There's actually some messed up stuff you can do. Um, oh. He's just ragdolled. Um, wait. Come on, just tackle him. I don't wanna hang. Where you could actually just get, um, this kill his family happen. before taking him in, which is get some. This time. How's that? really messed up dialogue stuff. Arthur didn't get the no hat memo. Apparently not. That's the same cow moo as in Stardew Valley, I think. Now what was the point in all that? That it got your neck broke. Premature. Let him go back to his family, or you're gonna have trouble with us. Oh, great. Get me off of here. He ain't much of a bounty hunter. Come on. No more games, all right? I think that's all your friends, ain't it? You shouldn't have done that. And now look what's happened. Dead because of you. Damn it. I knew you was being quiet. Johnson. Johnson. What? Just hold Real on. Real quiet back there. Won't be long. Most cats are men. Takes you past the this gallows. Is Rhodes. You're almost shot of me. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Small home. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe you weren't, but those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Money, please. That's the price for Johnson. I didn't take it, someone else would have. Tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. I swear I'm a good man now, Sheriff. I got a son. Everyone's got a sob story, Johnson. Got another outlaw we're seeking. Poster will be done and in the station in no time hence. built a home out in godforsaken country. Land no one would want. I made amends, I promise. You'll find redemption in a chain gang or on the end of a rope, that's all. Speaking of which. Which way is the station? Oh. 
Ooh, missed paper. Um, hmm. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Wanna buy paper? Sure. Sand and need times. Bye now. Bye bye. Come on, girl. Paper's here. Get your papers right. Score is dead in blood feud. I wouldn't have any knowledge about that. Braithwaite Manor burned to the ground. Sheriff Gray killed. Most of both families believed dead. Roads and pieces. Uh, motorized lawnmower patented. Ooh. Invention powered by steam. A grand champagne reception to be held at Marilyn Mills. Annual party, music and fireworks planned, high society on display. That's going to be happening in San Denis. Submarine in the works, a modern marvel, will be powered by steam, similar to 1860s Southern Naval model. Oh, it's getting dark. Got stuff for women's ills, quote unquote. Okay, right, let's flip. Boys in wool suits. Cautionary tale railroad path brings decline. Tumbleweed uh -huh. residents fret at future. Tumbleweed's a place that you can see in the original game. What is that one? This is a continuation about the lawnmower stuff. Can't tell. I don't know. Some stuff about Civil War. Savages in the slums, quote unquote, night folk terrorizing citizens. Um, residents in the bayou on the edge as are on edge as they report circulate of murders and robberies committed by a stealthy group of swamp dwellers commonly referred to as night folk. Blah blah blah, murder of Doris. Quick comb, blah blah blah, travel is discouraged. Riverbolt Grand Corrigan announces high stakes during gambling nights. High rollers, debu wait, debut debutantes, and card sharks will be welcomed to the Grand Corrigan Riverboat in a series of high stakes gambling nights. It's happening in Saint Denis. And that is a thing. Opera singer robbed. I don't know anything about that. Stagecoach stopped in Scarlet Meadows. It's gonna say anything about me and Trelawney. This is Chester Danson, a wealthy socialite and self-trained opera singer who most recently traveled to New York City to sing on Broadway, was robbed while traveling through Scarlet Meadows. Ruse began as a man purpose purporting to be the business in the business of throwing musicals. Stopped the wagon um, as she was traveling. Oh, stopped the wagon she was traveling in and asked her to for an impromptu audition. Happy to oblige, she sang her heart out. Little did she know the man was an accomplice. There was no man. The man had an accomplice hiding in the thicket. That's me, Arthur. Uh, while she was singing, he snuck into the back of the wagon and stole her prized possessions and a great deal of currency. Upon making her report to the local magistrate, she chastised him for not hunting down the nefarious elements in the region and allowing wanton robbery and thieving. Mrs. Damson had recently returned from her performance in New York um, to receive mixed reviews, but blamed the orchestra um, wandering off key and the viciousness of New York press. More about Jeremy Gill. Dude's all over the place. The opera singer. <laughs> yeah. I read that one more thoroughly than the whole Blood well, Feud stuff. I should actually... Oh, there's a new stagecoach thing. Um, oops. Might do that one on the next stream. Because I want to get more notes from Alden. Wait, hang on. I wanted to see. Scroll the right. Thing. 
Uh, I don't think it yep. mentions any of us directly. Okay, fine. <laughs> I think he's just gonna insult me. Land six, how you doing? Oh yeah, there's no rule against no fighting what anymore. Man round here. I'd head out full chiseled if I was you. Lest you want to be shot to death by raiders. Excuse me? <laughs> Dutch isn't here to stop me from fighting the Lemoyne Raiders anymore. <laughs> Oh no, it's both of them. Neil, hey, not so fast. Ah, heck. Keep your mouth shut about this. Just take now. it easy. Take it easy. Uh-oh. Before they cause any more violence. Keep calm. Let me take care of it. All right, you fine. You better be making trails quick. Okay. Okay. I ain't looking for trouble. <laughs> this ain't real. Just want me to leave? Move along, Arthur Morgan. Oh shit! Oh, I wanted to do that one. That one quest line. Okay, girl. See these guys, they don't start shooting at me right away. I was actually hoping Arthur would get arrested. Oh no, I took too long to leave. Cause I still wanna try getting the um the possible cutscenes that you can get uh, if he gets arrested, but it didn't give me an option to surrender. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, I might go. go um a couple minutes more so i really want to start this one mission how do you do sir back from your journey that's line what are you in the market for can i get food please parker hey i'll be there for later i'll just have him sleep so it can be daytime. I don't want to rob him. I want to take a nap. Hello, friend. I don't mean to pry, but uh, well, you look like something hey of there. rough and tumble type. Perhaps someone acquainted with the more uh, elements, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Is that the stranger mission I'm looking for out the window? <laughs> Saw that white fog. Feel that rumbling, the train. I hope it's them. Oh, yes. Oh, you're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then. <laughs> oh, Alright, guys. What you fools up to? Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. All and right. I'll tell you, you lily livid. Enough. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. 
Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had up to here with you. No! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! I like the nice fellas too. Okay, where are these posters? They're not marked on the map. Guess I just gotta find them. And it should be like along Main Street, I think. Here's one. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister. I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? This <laughs> This No damn. Y'all better not call the cops on me again. Mr. Black and Mr. White. Escape prisoner is wanted for return. You're still at large. You're both dangerous and last seen around road. think that's any of Arthur's concern. Who doesn't like nice fellas? Oh, they're talking about these two. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. Ooh. And you call me a gossip? Hey, hello. Why, hello there, sir. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with him. I'm flattered by your <laughs> <Sorry>. attention, <laughs> but it's beginning to fluster me. Oh, sorry, lady. With me today. Trying to listen to the conversation is what was happening. Right, where are the rest of the posters? Maybe one at the station. Oh, there's one right here. So it's up in the air whether or not these guys are actually guilty. What's happening? Oh. 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 Interesting. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need that poster off you. Give it up. That ever work before. Poster's mine, fella. And so are these bounties. Come on, Arthur. Arthur. Why are you not? Excuse me. Don't worry about it, random witness Get guy. This off of me. We need a no, we don't. Uh, loot. Quickly. The hell are you doing? Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. I'm not kidnapping him. Is this what you want? So help me, God, you give that back. No. 
Oh no, they're shooting. Gonna have to come back to finish this later. Wait, can I? No, there's no option. I sure am. How many posters did I have left? Oh no, what are you doing up here? Ow! Oh, that looked like it hurt, Arthur. You good? <laughs> Just run past Mr. Black and Mr. White. <gasps> they hit my horse. To the horse. Got four out of the five posters. Okay, that's what I thought. I'll be able to just swoop back in. Making my stream go too long. Uh oh. No, that was my fault. Didn't realize they were searching off road. Oh, that's our old camp. I thought I was gonna hit the little, little ditch or not. Alrighty, ten dollar bounty. Alrighty, where? I have not Okay, I'm going the right direction. Almost. And that works out because then we can check out the station if they have that last poster. Because that's where they normally put wanted posters. Alden. Welcome back. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. <laughs> okay, I'll come back for that stagecoach robbery later. What is that mark? You know, I don't want to click on that. Get me out of here. I want to look at my map. Mark and Mus Chain Gang. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. 
There's quite a price on you boys. He is sweaty. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Now we have the option to walk away well, with the posters what? or burn don't them. just leave it there. <laughs> I don't know what. We've come to rely on you, mister. I don't know what they told you in town. We've been straight with you. We ain't angels, but... We're good folks. Or I am. Not now, Black. Okay, we're both good folks. So, do you got the posters? We just want those posters gone. Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right. Till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. You've done enough for us. We're on our own now. We will see them again. Okay. Let's just go a little further away. And then we'll wrap up here. Hey, There's easy. some stuff going on in the roads, it seems. Uh, journal, journal, journal. Here's the journal. For a little preview. Okie dokie. There's so much plot. There's the other Charles. No flowers. Is that the snapping turtle? I guess since it's hard for him to see details on it. And Marco. Oh, that dog. You can see its ribs. We met a lot of new folk. I love that one, dog. This little, little bloodhound head. Wait, wasn't there another alligator that we looked at? They're definitely splitting up and I'm so sure we won't see them together next time. Oh, absolutely. Just a couple of fellas who like kind fellas. No reason for them to stick around together. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start moving Arthur over to the parlor house because he needs a bath. Probably get him some more food because he might still be underweight. His face is looking kind of thin. Uh, which thing was I actually want to check? Still underweight, yeah. Let's give him a buffet. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming and hanging out. Uh, I think next week I have a local con uh, that I'm going to be doing for my day job. So we'll see whether or not I end up just rescheduling to the Sunday evening or what because I actually don't know which days I'm gonna be working I think it's only Saturday Sunday though so I should have the energy to come back up Monday at the latest I'm looking at these horses to see if I want to steal any of them but no I still want an Appaloosa because I miss little Missy she was my favorite horse I had <laughs> in my first playthrough along with Arthur Jr. Hello, friend. and uh, I don't mean to pry, Miss but, Morgan. Uh, well, you look like something of rough and tumble. Anyway, like, perhaps somewhat acquainted with the more uh, colorful elements. This guy's distracting me. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> we got a lot of stranger missions done this time. Um, and I think next time we might still do a couple of stranger things. 
<laughs> I didn't mean that. Stranger missions. Stranger things. Um. But we might also move the plot along a little. Either with Mary Beth or with the next thing with Angelo Bronte. I'm thinking I gotta try to squeeze both of those in. The Mary Beth and Dutch missions that are marked on the map already. So. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.